What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It is cold day out on the water today, but we're gonna try to see if we can catch us a few fish. I have a newfound friend that's uh, joining us today, Mr. Bryce. Hey, how's it going guys? Hey. Yeah, so uh, Bryce is a hardcore fisherman. Way hardcore than I am. This is, <laughs> this is gonna be my first time as far as uh, coming out here and fishing for bass during this time of year. Today it is January, what is it, the uh, 14th? So yeah, we're gonna give it a shot. I know it's gonna be a grind. Bryce said that it's gonna be a grind around this time of year, but we'll see if we, uh, if we can come across a couple of fish for you guys to see. So hang on tight and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, we'll get back at you. I really like fishing rice though, that lake's badass. That's my next lake I want to hit. I went last time, but right in the fall. But you know how like the boat ramp was the water so low. Yeah. They closed the boat ramp down. Which one did you go to? To the park, the Mazi Rock uh, Park. So I ended up going back and fish Alder. That's the day that I had lost my fishing pole. Oh, you went to Alder? Yeah. Yeah. Alder's fun. Yeah, Alder's not bad. They uh, they really like. Uh, the salamanders there. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. yeah I noticed this is a whole you bunch of them. The salamanders will come up to the water and then they'll just yeah. go back down. Yeah. For all the military guys. Oh okay. That's where they that's where they're going. If you ever go to Rice and that boat launch is closed, it's a little bit of a drive, but it's mm -hmm. on the opposite end of the lake. That's where I launch from. What was that that? What's that weird it's name? Some Indian name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. It was way too low. Yeah, it was. I don't even know if they opened up all the uh, the arms to that lake at the end of the year. Because when I went, they had all those things coned off. Mm -hmm. You couldn't go back to half of the arms that they had. Mm -hmm. to find rock there too because there's so much grass just found the stump 
stumps in the grass and that's where the bass were. Mm -hmm. your work schedule is like but summertime I'm always I'm always trying to get out of hearts and yeah get on that punch and frog bites <laughs> yeah my, my schedule is pretty much just Tuesday so when Tuesday Wednesdays and Thursday off so oh damn so you got it perfect yeah you're yeah see that's what I, I, I work a typical nine to five not nine to five it's usually like six to two or something like that but mm -hmm. it's Monday through Friday so I'm stuck to going on the weekends and after work. I wish I had weekdays off because you can go to the lake and there's nobody. Exactly. Yeah, that's exactly why I picked pick those days off. I had Thursday, Friday, and Saturday before, but nah. It's nice because everybody else has a weekend off and you could go see people and they're off too, but. Nope. A lot better than sitting on the couch. 100% agreed. What can be frustrating about this lake in this spot is I know that they're down there. Yeah. And in the winter time, sometimes you could have the right bait, the right everything. They mm -hmm. just don't. They just don't want to move. Yeah. But there's I I believe that there's a bite window. Uh. Trout's going crazy. But uh, last weekend, my buddy came out here and we were out here for three hours, three casts in a row. He nailed three. Wow. And then we didn't see a single fish the rest of the day or get a bite. Mm -hmm. So it's just that one little, one little window where they're like, okay, we're feeding now. Yeah. Beat it though. Nice. I don't know if I have. I think I might have deleted it. Always wonder what kind of salmon it was. Even uh, two years ago, I towed this thing down to uh, Lake Mead and Fish Lake Mead. Where's that at? Vegas. Oh, damn. Yeah. know if that's a Chinook or I don't know what those are but yeah. they are everywhere and wow. if you throw a red crankbait they are smacking it that is a salmon come on you pokers I see you down there stuck to the bottom It's a little different. I've been on a boat actual bass fishing for over 10 years. Kayak fishing for bass is not that comfortable. No. I mean, I'm sure, it, I'm sure it has its moments where it's not that bad. But I, uh, I actually considered switching over. Keeping kayak. my boat but doing the kayak thing too because mm -hmm. I want to go to Chambers and I want to go to all these little Lake, Lake Bonnie and mm -hmm. all those little places but my boat can't get in there I mean yeah. sometimes it's a struggle at Rap John I would say like anything in the PA Poby wise PA 12 and 14 would be the ideal thing yeah might be a little bit better to uh, fish and fish and things but what I had just a uh, compass so it sits a little lower yeah so it's a little does hard. it have the raised seat or is the seat built into it it's it's i raised it up i put a seat rises in there but still not tall enough yeah you know. you 
somebody that has that linked. Looks almost like a pedal board, but. spots mm -hmm. and fishing them and maybe getting one or two here and there but that's why i really wanted to go to chambers because i know for sure bro. i know if anything we could get bit there but it's just the winter time man yeah spring comes around and it's just gonna it's gonna be a little different ball game yeah springtime comes around i'm uh probably in uh March, middle March or end of March, if the weather is not too cold. Yeah. Think about hitting the Eastern Washington, go down to uh, Wapato Lake over there. For some good kokanee, they got some really nice kokanee over there. And they let you have more to take home. Yeah. And that lake has everything, it has bass, some nice bass in there that I've seen. That's a nice catch. <laughs> <laughs> One thing about the blade bait, it catches everything. Yep. I caught a rock at Sawyer a couple weeks ago. Washington can be a little bit miserable at the end of March, but I think I think the fish will pick up as soon as that fucking ice melts over there. Mm -hmm. And obviously on the Columbia it doesn't melt, so it's probably probably good year round. I really want to go out and try to fish for some burbot. Oh, those I've never had a chance to do those either. It's like freshwater lingcod. Yeah, I guess they're really good eating. Yeah, too. and they're pretty deep from what I've been seeing. Yeah.
Well guys, it was cold, cold, cold day. We gave it a shot. Now it's time to call it a day. We did not find any fish for you guys to see, but that's how it is. It is winter season. Fish is very, very hard to catch, but we gave it a shot. So we'll do, we'll, we'll do it again. We'll do it again until we find them. But yeah, had a great time out here. Just want to say thanks to my uh, friend uh, Bryce here for bringing me out. <laughs> any last words? Well, it was a grind. We did what we could, but yeah, we, we definitely did. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it was fun, Bryce. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, we'll do it again. Yeah. We'll do it again. Down, I'm down. All right. Have a safe trip. And that is it, guys. That is it.